Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you the whole process of me starting my very own sticker shop. I have always loved stationery since I was a little kid and it's my dream to open a sticker shop. And now, I just can't believe that I finally done it. It has not been easy and it actually took me months to plan and prepare for my shop, but it all started with designing the products. So designing the products had took me months because I wasn't really good at drawing digitally and I also can't find an art style that I like. So I had to watch a lot of Procreate tutorials to learn how to draw digitally and I was constantly drawing to figure out my art style. And after lots and lots of drawing, I found out that I like to draw cute art. So I started drawing cute desserts because they are much more easier to draw. And then I started challenging myself to draw cute Studio Ghibli characters. And here are just some time lapse of me designing my Studio Ghibli inspired sticker sheets. So basically, from September 2022 to January 2023, I just kept drawing and drawing. I designed two cute desserts sticker sheets and five Studio Ghibli inspired sticker sheets. There's Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Spirited Away, and House Moving Castle. I have always loved Studio Ghibli movies ever since I was a little kid, so I thought of making these Studio Ghibli inspired sticker sheets to connect with my inner child. Now after the product designing is done, it's time to manufacture the products. For my shop, I decided to outsource my products instead of making the products at home. This is because I don't have a printer or a cutting machine at home and I didn't want to invest in them first. So yeah, I decided to just outsource my products. Um, although outsourcing my products did save me a lot of time and frustration from learning how the printer and cutting machine work, I also did spend a lot of time finding a suitable outsourcing company. I've tried and error a few printing shops and the end products didn't turn out as how I want them to be. Some had really bad printing quality, some required me to order in big bulks, but in the end, I found a printing shop that has really great printing quality and doesn't require me to order in big bulks. So yeah, I was really happy to be able to find um, this printing shop and when I unboxed these sticker sheets for the first time, it feels so nice and it is kind of unreal that I'm actually holding sticker sheets that I have designed myself. So yeah, for this shop launch, I have designed 7 sticker sheets. Five of them are Studio Ghibli inspired and the other two are cute desserts theme. Now let's put all my babies into this white foldable storage box. Alright, so besides preparing the products, I also have to prepare and think of how I want to package my products. So for my shop, I decided that I will be mailing the products in envelopes. So I got these craft paper envelopes from Muji. I also decided to print some sticker labels to seal the envelope. And besides that, I also bought some twine for some decorations. And over here is a thank you card that will be given when you purchase my products. And to make it more personalized, I designed it to have a small space to write my customer's name, to thank them for supporting my small business. And alright, all of these packing materials will be in another storage box. And now it's time to unbox my sticker flakes. So besides selling sticker sheets, I also wanted to sell sticker flakes as well. 
And for this shop launch, I have designed four different sticker flakes, which are all based on my pet dogs, Poo Poo, Pom Pom, and Vin Vin. I have three dogs and they have been my childhood friends since I was in elementary school. So that's why I wanted to make them into my very own characters. But unfortunately, Poo Poo and Pom Pom are no longer with us anymore. So making all these makes me feel like they are still alive and living on in my art, which I find it quite meaningful. And oh yeah, these tiny bubble tea sticker flakes will be given as freebies. So other than sticker sheets and sticker flakes, I also wanted to sell some postcards and art prints. For my art print, there is only one design for this shop launch and it's Totoro holding a leaf umbrella. I really like this design, especially the pastel clouds at the back, so I couldn't resist not using this design as an art print. And as for the postcards, there are two designs, and once again, the characters in both the designs are my pet dogs. The first one is the three of them enjoying coffee and desserts in a cozy cafe, and the second one is the three of them in a tulip field. So now that we have all our products, it's time to take some pictures of the products. Product photography might seem as the easiest step among the others, but I have to tell you that it's actually not that easy as it seems. The lighting, the placement of the products to make it look more appealing, the photo editing later on are really not that easy. It actually took me I think three days to take and edit my product pictures but overall I'm really happy with how the pictures turned out and I'm really glad that all the hard work paid off and after we have our pictures ready it's time to set up my coffee shop in the beginning I was really contemplating on whether I should make my own shop website or use coffee but after doing some research, I decided that I will be using Kofi. This is because I am very familiar with Kofi as I have sell Happy Meals before using their Kofi shop feature. To me, it is very easy to edit and manage your shop. So with like just a click of a few buttons, your shop listings are complete. And besides that, you can also close your shop whenever you want to take a short break and you can come to open your shop when you are ready for another shop launch. So after months of preparation and planning, it's the day of the official shop launch. I was so excited for this day and I woke up extra early to launch my shop at 10 a.m. in the morning. So on that morning, I was constantly waiting for a shop order notification to pop out and at the time I'm filming this, I'm so happy that I have two shop orders already. So here's me packing my orders. I am honestly really happy and grateful that there are people out there who would support me in what I'm doing. It really means a lot to me and if you also want to support me and my small business, it would make me the happiest girl in the world. Oh, well, that's a Blackpink reference, but you get what I mean. So be sure to check out my Kofi shop and the link to my Kofi shop is available in the description box below. So I'm not going to talk for now and I'll let you guys just enjoy the ASMR of the packing process. But be sure to watch the video until the very end because I have something very special for you guys, which is a giveaway.
All right, so now is the time that you guys have been waiting for, which is the giveaway. So for this giveaway, I'll be giving away two packages of my shop products to two lucky winners. So to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment on which shop product is your favorite. And also remember to leave your Instagram handle in the comment too. The giveaway will end on the 23rd of June 2023 and two lucky winners will be announced on the 24th of June 2023. Thank you everyone for always supporting me in what I do and good luck in the giveaway!